you can spot that I'm not in my usual studio and that's because I've just received a very large package and if you look behind it I've been unpacking it. This is a huge package of art materials from Meadon and they very kindly sent it to me for free so that I can review it which is incredibly generous. It's just arrived and I'm really excited to look at what's actually in here. There's oil paint, there's acrylic, there's watercolour, there's gouache. But first, my name's Liz Chatterton. I'm a watercolour artist based in Berkshire. And every week I, I share a tip or trick that I wish I'd known about ages ago. I also review art materials on occasions and this week I am reviewing the biggest art set I have ever seen in my life. First thing I'll say is that it came really well packaged. So it was packed in this carton which has got lots of polystyrene in. That was inside this box and then that was all inside this box which I guess is probably down to uh, the delivery company rather than Meaden. It seems rather over the top three boxes but our cat is going to have just the most fun playing in this box. I've set everything out on the table just so that we can have a proper look at what what they've sent or what's included. Let's just move that. This is obviously the star of the show and it's a French easel. There's a little instruction book and we'll have a look at whether we can actually get that constructed. The website says this is made out of German beech wood. You can get one in a walnut finish if you want, that's a little bit more expensive. This on its own in the UK would be £119. In America it's about $99 on its own. The idea of a French easel is that you can work sitting down like this. It can all go up and down to accommodate different size canvases or things like that. There's a handy drawer here to store your um, art materials. You can put more underneath so there's basically two, two drawers. And what I thought was a nice touch is that you can actually take the dividers out like that and then you could fit canvases or a paper pad or, or whatever you want in there. Or you can have those dividers in and put in paints and brushes and all that gubbins. It does come with a carrying strap. The idea is if that you were going out sketching, it's got a carrying handle or you could put the strap onto the end and put it over your shoulder. The strap can just go on there, it's obviously adjustable. Make it as long or as short as you need for your shoulder. I wouldn't want to walk far with it to be honest because it does weigh a fair amount as you can imagine but if if you like to work at an easel then at least it is all together and all the the, the drawer cannot come out while it's all clipped so your art materials would be secure. So I've got my instruction leaflet and we'll see if I can set it up as an easel. So those back legs have got slots they go into so they are pretty secure. Then we flip that up, we can secure that. Those come out there and they secure here. Okay. I flipped it over and it feels really secure. It's got little rubber feet on the bottom, so those are adjustable. And then, look, you've got a little um, thing to hold your canvas in place. One's here. If, uh, if it's a windy day or whatever. It's certainly easy to do. Look, you've got your drawer here and it's not gonna fall out. It's prevented from falling out. So you've got 
those dividers if you want a divider and then underneath you've got more compartments well if someone saw you with a piece of kit like this they'd be expecting a really good painting from you wouldn't they that is very smart it's hard to know quite where to start um oh well we'll start at the top we've got a color wheel it's really useful because a kit like this has to be aimed at someone who hasn't painted before. They are not sure what medium they want to, to use. So if this is a beginner or, or someone coming back to art maybe, then a bit of colour theory is never going to hurt. Got 24 watercolour tubes in there. If you want to see a full review of uh, Mead and Watercolour set, I have done one, but spoiler alert, I was really surprised how good the quality was for the price. They performed really well and they hit a very good price point. So I'm not going to go through those again because say if you're, you're interested it's there. I also include 24 gouache pens. There's a colour card on the back and it has got all the pigment numbers. It's got whether they're light fast, um, how opaque they are. Obviously with gouache you'd expect them to be opaque because gouache is an opaque version of watercolour. I was just going to say I'll get a knife so I can open them and then I remembered that they actually provide you with a utility knife as part of the kit. So, let's get that out. Okay, and there are all the tubes of paint. I would certainly like to try these out, but I see no reason why they shouldn't be a really decent quality. Because as I say, when I went through the watercolours in real detail, I was, I was impressed. So they've got 12 acrylic paints. And again, the back has swatches it has pigment information light fast and opacity information and that's really good because if you haven't got that information you're not going to get to know your materials it's a bugbear of mine when when you see student uh, materials and they haven't got the information you've got to search for it so i'm impressed with that there are the acrylic colors Quite a limited range but you've got primaries you've got white and black which is useful in acrylics and a couple of earth colors so that's going to get you going uh, and you've got your little color wheel that i showed you which of course will help you with your color mixing and it's no bad thing if you're starting to paint to have a limited range so that you get used to mixing your own colors and you really get to know them then this is the oil set and that's 24 colours. Looking at the range on the back, again it's got opacity information, light fast information and pigment information. Have a little look at this box that I got. So there's a knife, a craft knife. So what have we got here? They, they're um, oh, detailing brushes. Ideal for finer details, lettering, outlining, delicate, continuous strokes and retouching. Not a detailed person, but someone might be. Very good. Got a nice eraser and a pencil. But of course, you've got your knife so you can sharpen it. That's a 4B pencil, so that would be useful. It seems... So far, there's nothing missing. A couple of palette knives. Yep, one's offset. Hopefully you can see that if I put that behind. And one is, is straight. So if you wanted to have a go at sort of impasto work, so that's using your paint very thickly, you could have a load of fun practicing knife painting skills. So that's the paints and so forth. Let's have a look at these canvases. Yeah, so there's a black, pretty decent sized canvas. If yours is dented like this one is, I don't know if you can see from there, but there's a little dent. Don't worry at all. All you need to do is wet the back of the canvas 
fibres with some water, clean water, and the cotton fibres will just shrink down and pull that dent out straight away. So nothing to be concerned about. There's also a white one of the same size and on the back of the white one are, are three little canvas panels, two white, one black. So they're 10 inch, what's that, uh, 25 centimetres or so. Ah, and some more panels. So you've got again, two white, one black in 11 by 14. What's that? 27 by 35. So what have we got? Six panels, two canvases. That will get you going. Let's see what's in here. It's like Christmas. Could you imagine if you are, let's think, a talented teenager and you love painting and sadly in the UK at the moment art education in school is not very good, everyone's budgets are tight and um, you know, the quality of materials in a lot of schools is not good and you're, you know, so you're a talented teenager and you got this for Christmas, how excited would you, would you be? I remember as a child, because I used to love to draw, one of my best Christmas presents ever was a big A2 drawing pad that was good quality because kids often get given less good quality and I drew and drew and drew and it just ignited that passion so I think it this would just be amazing I did look at some of the reviews and someone said they bought it for their six-year-old I was like you bought oil paints and acrylics for a six-year-old mm, I hope you've got a lot of cleaning materials anyway the other person that I would have thought a kit like this would be amazing for is something like a retirement present. You know, some one of your colleagues is retiring and you've all chipped in some money to get them a present. And they've always said, oh, when I retire, I'm going to learn to paint. And they don't know what they want to do. Wow, this would get them going. You have to be retiree. If you've got a friend who said, I've always wanted to learn to paint, this would be an amazing present that a group of you could get together and chip in and, you know, for a big birthday, a 40th, a 50th, a 60th, whatever. So that's my penny's worth. Oh, we have a wooden palette. Oh, won't we look professional painting with our palette? What you need is a beret and um, maybe a an apron and you are set. Now that's interesting. So that is a canvas pad, 10 sheets, and it says it's triple primed, bleed proof and ideal for multiple art formats. So if you were out and about, you could work on, on sheets of canvas. Ah, and this is a disposable palette. So it's like, it's like sheets of wax paper so you can just use it, rip it off and throw it away. So you have lots of different palette possibilities for your preference. Probably you would want to use this with acrylics, I would suggest. The wooden palette over here is going to be for oils. And that plastic palette, presumably for your watercolours and your gouache. I'm not a fan of plastic palettes, much prefer a ceramic palette, but you've got something to get you going and you can always upgrade that. And Needham actually has the most beautiful range of ceramic palettes if you look. Sadly, we're on to the last box and this has got all the brushes in. There are 12 metallic heavy bodied acrylic paints. So we have the 12 ordinary acrylic paints here rich colours, heavy body, non toxic. And here we've got metallics. So we've got metallic white, metallic lemon yellow, metallic deep gold, apricot orange, metallic purple, cerulean blue. Oh, we've got 
got silver, metallic red wine, very nice. Ah, well, gosh, so, because I think I said, oh, there's only a limited range of colours and said, oh, well, that's good for your colour mixing. But you have got metallics as well as ordinaries. We've got some watercolour paper. So this is 100% cotton. And I tried this paper out in my other films that in a set for beginners, you've actually got cotton watercolour paper because watercolour paper can be made from cellulose or cotton and generally cotton is stronger so you can lift and layer. Then we have got the paint brushes, oil brushes and the ones for acrylics. There's a nice set of brushes. Uh, traditionally watercolour brushes are short handled and they're soft and they've got a good fluid carrying capacity so nice looking set there these are for your oil paints it says they are washed hog bristle durable no hair losing and no fluffy tips <laughs> i love that no fluffy tips so with oil painting brushes you want a stiffer brush because the paint is heavier to move it around and those those look interesting and our final box what collected new tech and again non fluffy tips so you've got these for acrylics so they are going to be softer than the bristle brushes that you've got for oils but i'm sure you could get away with using some of these for, for either medium wow <laughs> i'm quite blown away with this so I've looked up the prices. If you wanted to get all this and that beautiful easel, it is £209.95 in the UK and that's free postage. If you're in America, it's available for $159, which with the exchange rate comes to £130. So I think that's amazing value absolutely amazing i was just starting to edit the film and thought oh i didn't mention rather a crucial thing meaden has given me a 10 percent off code to share with you which is liz10 the link is in the description and if you use that code it's 10 percent off anything on their website not just this kit so if you look at this and think oh no that's way too big or too much money or it's not what i'm after have a look at their website because they've got all sorts of yummy goodies. First impressions is literally you need to add a beret and an apron and you're good to go. Um, possibly I would like to have seen some sort of getting started leaflet or just a little bit of guidance because this is aimed totally to beginner because otherwise why would you need all this if you'd already got little bits here and there. So I wonder if just a 10 page booklet just to say get you going or even links to some I don't know, tutorials on the Meaden website or something like that would be just that perfect little add on. Having said that, you have of course got YouTube and you have got libraries and there are a million learn to paint books. So, you know, that's me just slightly nitpicking. The other nitpick is that I don't particularly like this palette. What would have been maybe nice to have seen was like a closing palette for the watercolours of gouache. So that particularly because you've got that beautiful easel for going out and about and sketching, you are likely to want to take watercolours with you in a closed palette. So that might have been a slightly better addition that may have a cost implication for the overall thing, I do realise. And I think those are my only nitpicks. And that's me being fussy. My younger self would have been over the moon to receive this. So as we come towards Black Friday, I'm making this in November, or dare I say Christmas, or the birthday of a loved one, I think this range of art materials would keep that budding artist, that interested artist 
amazingly happy for many a long afternoon.